Hi, this is Vicki Go, and I have come to share with you um, another heavenly visitation that I have received. Before I start, I would like to pray and ask that you pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you humbly. You are good in all things. Now, Lord, I pray that you would send this out and that it would reach whoever needs to hear it, Father. Open their eyes to the truth, their ears to the understanding, and soften their hearts. And, Father God, I ask that your Holy Spirit would speak to each individual on an each-person basis. And I pray that the fire of the Holy Spirit would go with this word, Lord. And if it's not from you, Father, again, I pray, and I ask you shut me down, you shut my mouth. Because, Father God, I understand. I understand if I'm up here and I speak and I cause someone to fall, it's on my hands. And I don't want that, Father. I don't want that. So in the name of Jesus, Father, I bind every hindrance, every type of magic that's being thrown. I send it back and cancel it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And, Father God, every demonic force that would try to rise up against this right now, any any spirit from the hierarchy, principalities of the air, I confound and confuse the airwaves in the name of Jesus. And I ask, Lord, that everything be put on your tune your chords, your notes, Father, not that of Satan. And Lord, I pray that you would stir up your bride. Stir up your bride. Help us get ready, Lord. Wake up the church in the name of Jesus. And Lord, give us a, a heart that passionately pursues you, Lord, and a burning desire to see the lost saved. Now, Father, Lord, God, in the name of Jesus, these demons that we're trying to hinder, I take you and I bind you in everlasting chains dipped in the glorified, fortified blood of Jesus. I take my sword of the spirit dipped in the same blood and I gut you from head to. And I take and chop off your head and I'll stomp you because the Bible says, behold, I give any power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and of all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. Luke 2, 19, Lord, I stand on your word. Matthew 18, 18, whatsoever shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatsoever shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And I cast them, Father, in front of hell's gates so that all who enters and goes in will know there are still children of God who's not afraid to fight and stand and fight for the lost and fight for the right in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, everything that has been bound and removed, I loose you, Father. It means I untie your hands to do whatever you need to do for your will to be done, Lord. Remove all hindrances, Father. And, Lord, I pray that you would loosen this atmosphere, the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit, love, peace, joy, Lord, and comfort. You would give us hope and comfort in Jesus' name. And let everything be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Pray. Oh, a lot of people jumped on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Honestly, I don't know how to do this without putting comments. But we're going to try it and see how it goes. Because the Lord said to do this live. And, um... Last time when I saved it, I somehow caused the comments not to be on there. And I apologize. I, the Lord's just teaching me as we go. He's good and he's faithful. Okay, for those of you that's on our site, you know that I took like eight or nine days off. I come on for one brief message. And with that, I have um, stayed off the electronics most of the time. The first few days, I was totally off of them, fasting them too. And just... Focusing on the Lord. And while I was there, while this, during this time, I had another visit from the, the angel Gabriel. And that's what I'm going to be sharing. And I couldn't release it until he said, are they breaking me up? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I bind any atmospherical hindrances in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, for everything to be put on your harmonial, harmonical balance, Lord. I don't. In the, the frequencies, in the airwaves, and over the internet, the Wi-Fi, the router, in the name of Jesus, the all-powerful name of Jesus, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Lord, our Deliverer, our strong tower, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, our everything. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. You are good. You are good in all things. I give you praise. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You know, many of victories are won through praising. So do not eliminate praise. 
out of your worship. I spent the majority of those days just praying, seeking, fasting, but praising the Lord, praising him, praising him. And yes, we need to join together. We are the body of Christ. We are called, we're the defense for this world against Satan's onslaught, not just for our, our families and for our lives. We're the defense for our world. But praise God, we got the Holy Spirit to help us do it. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. All right, let me get on with this. This has a little bit of, it's a little, little, well, you know, I don't usually get just short words. But I prayed and the Lord said to share it. I received this on 2-22-23 at 6.09 p.m. And there have been people that's asked me, how does these things come to pass? I spend my time in a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer, and I had been praying I don't know how long when the angel Gabriel appeared. And I was I was praying, and I just wrote a little bit, and I said, I'm here, I'm, my love, I am here. So I was praying, I said, I don't know, I'm here, and then, but I always have an ink pen and paper nearby. But when these visits happen, to be honest, I know it's the Holy Spirit writing. And then as I was praying, I heard, daughter of heaven. I said, yes, who is it? I plead your blood, Jesus. Now, let me explain. I plead the blood of Jesus through everything. Because I know that the enemy is subtle and crafty. And I always, but I know my Savior's voice. But it's just something that I've been taught since I was little. And it is, it works. And I said, I know that voice. Gabriel, you're here. Yes, daughter of heaven's courts. I said, why are you here? I feel the holiness of God, his glory, even though I'm still kneeling with my face down where I've been praying and interceding in tongues. May I look up, Gabriel? Of course, daughter of heaven. You may get up. I am your fellow servant of the holy God of heaven, the almighty God of all. Gabriel is standing in front of my sofa, this very sofa, on the far left end. He is dressed in his holy armor, the same as before, except now it glows even brighter with God's glory. I watch as Gabriel removes his shiny helmet and places it on my sofa's middle seat. I look over to see Gabriel, the archangel, is accompanied by four more valiant-looking warring angels, all heavily armored and glowing just as bright as Gabriel's armor. There are two angels holding exquisitely carved bows that look like ivory trimmed in liquid gold. These things are beautiful. They have arrows already posed to shoot, if needed, and they are all on high alert status. One is light brown headed, and the other's hair is almost a dull copper color. Next to them is a dark headed angel holding a long lance, and the other angel is holding a harbinger, a battle axe. Each angel has a mighty sword, including the angel Gabriel. I see Gabriel glance over to my right, and he gives a slight nod. Okay, I'm just about to share something <laughs> that is personal, but the Lord said to share it. He said, I turn and I see Mornisha, my guardian angel. I know my guardian angel's name. Mornisha, my guardian angel, nod back to him with a genuine warm smile. The thing I noticed when these appearances come, angelic appearances, there is no, there's just, perfect brotherly love among the angels it's it's beautiful it's beautiful all right daughter of heaven of the most high god i bring you greetings from the father our creator the great god jehovah and his son your beloved the risen lamb i nod to him while i'm asking my lovely jesus why would gabriel be here what more can he have me announce since the tribulation has already started Antichrist is being crowned underground, unless it's a personal message. Excuse me. Bear with me. I, I will have to drink a little bit. Thank you, Lord, for the tea. All right. And then Jesus responded, Daughter of mine, my love, it is both an official declaration and a personal matter. Please hear Gabriel out, and then your question, question will be answered that needs to be answered. Yes, Jesus, my love. Gabriel's blue eyes shine with seriousness, yet tender compassion when he looks me in the eyes. Daughter of heaven, of the Most High. Yes, Gabriel, 
please go ahead. I notice there is almost, praise God, a cloudy look in this room, and I feel the presence of my lovely Jesus so strong. I watch as Gabriel, once again, as in prior times, removes a scroll from a holder on his armored belt. I'm not sure, sure how it unlatches, but he removes it in one quick movement with of his hands. He seems to be moving with greater speed and agility than before. Gabriel looked up at me and smiled. Yes, daughter of the Most High, our speed and agility has been increased by your prayers and other faithful children of the risen Lamb. Thank you, Jesus, I replied, grateful our prayers are being answered. Now, I know some people may un want, to, want to know what's going on there. The Lord has impressed me that they are our fellow servants in battle and just to pray over them. I mean, they're holy angels already. And so I just have the Lord leads. So I've been praying over them. Lord, you know, increase their agility, increase their armor uh, and make the enemy's armor you know, of no effect and their weapons useless and increase their weapon because the end times are coming and we need all the help and anybody left behind is going to need all the help they can get. All right. I just felt like I needed to, to say that. Okay. I see the scroll is in a container this time. It's smooth and black with the ends made of burnished gold, intricately carved, and gold tassels on each, each end of the end caps. He opens the container easily, then empties the scroll into the other hand. This scroll, I feel, is very old. Ancient. The parchment is made of gold somehow, but it's almost, but not quite, transparent. I notice the writing is bright gold somehow, still yet. Bear with me, I'm just trying to make sure everything's still working. Daughter of Heaven, if you are ready, we will proceed. Yes, Gabriel, please do. Hear ye, O inhabitants of the world. The earth created by Jehovah God, Elohim, the great I am, who is and will always be creator and ruler of your world, praise God. The time of foretold judgment has advanced to the point of no returning. War shall begin officially as the man of sin rises to a seat of power above the earth and no longer only in the belly of the earth below. Hear ye, hear ye, now I give to the inhabitants of the earth by official proclamation from heaven's courts this announcement. The man of sin known as the Antichrist foretold in the scriptures of truth is now hereby given the right from the throne of heaven of Jehovah God and his risen lamb who is judge of all to come to full power. With this official proclamation, I hereby give notice that the holy restrainer of heaven shall hereby depart from the earth and return to his rightful place in the holy, in the halls of heaven. You are hereby notified that the time of the wrath of the Lamb shall follow shortly after the removal of the holy restrainer. This is also the final notice from the risen Lamb, the Savior of this world, for his bride to get their lives in order and to have his spirit to examine your hearts and reveal to you if you have sin in your lives so you will not miss his long-awaited return. Hear ye, hear ye, sinners and saints, hear me now. This is one of the few remaining times of repentance left for your world. Repent now while you can. I hereby on orders of the risen Lamb, Jesus the Christ, Son of the Most High Living God, Jehovah, who rules in love, justice, and holy righteousness, give the official announcement of his imminent return. Praise God. The God of all heaven has sent notice to his Son, the risen Lamb, that the time is upon this world. Praise God. And Jesus, Jesus, daughter, please listen. Yes, my love, I'm sorry, I was excited. I hear you laugh softly, Jesus. I'm excited too, little daughter. But you must let Gabriel complete the official announcement of heaven's court. Oh, yes, Gabriel, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for the tea. 
Gabriel smiles briefly at me and then nods his head and begins reading again as he further unrolls the ancient scroll. After the restrainer is removed, the man of sin, of perdition, will then be given the power over the... <clears throat> Excuse me. How you, you Satan? Sorry, that just, in the name of Jesus. Okay, sorry about that. After the restrainer is removed, the man of sin, of perdition, will then be given the power over the saints of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Those who failed to have their garments spotless, and those who are yet to come. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this. in your world apologize all right these are places where jehovah god ruler of all and his blessed son the risen lamb who gave us and his blessed son the risen lamb who gave his life for humanity mankind can and will be worshipped freely up to a point of time in which i call all of mine the way of death off the earth this is also hereby to notify, excuse me, the inhabitants that hereby to notify, excuse me, the inhabitants that heaven, the risen lamb has been prepared each after they were offered and accepted this position. <clears throat> excuse me. I apologize. I may have to stop for a minute and pray. Yes, I'm having interferences, but in the name of Jesus, that's going to clear up. They keep, I keep seeing. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this attack upon my voice. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over you, Satan, and any kind of magic trying to be sent, any kind of weapon, known or unknown, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over this, and I, I bind this buffering Father God, their interferences stop now in the name of Jesus. All right. Let's see if we can finish. All right. This also hereby is to notify the inhabitants that heaven's end time two witnesses are officially moved into their positions. The risen lamb has been preparing each of after they were offered the accepted and accepted this position, even knowing the end result is death at the hands of Antichrist's forces. Your seals have been opened and shall remain open, minus the seventh, in which the silence of heaven has already come to pass. Each seal shall remain open until over, until over time that seal has completely been fulfilled. And I'm asking you to take this to the Lord and pray about it. <clears throat> The great God Jehovah, who rules with wisdom, knowledge, and holy purity, advises the inhabitants to take heed to this announcement and not cast it aside because of your own beliefs or teachings on the holy scriptures of truth, professing to understand and know them better than he who had them written by his Holy Spirit. Hereby you are warned that the seals have been opened and the seven trumpets have sounded and their woes and troubles shall descend your world in the order that God of heaven declares them for all were sounded in unison together as the beloved John saw when here in heaven but having to transcribe what he was seeing put an order to them when there is no certain order to record. Please pray about this. this is, I can just tell you what I, what I received. This information is given to you out of love from the God of heaven, the earth, and its inhabitants of mankind to bring them understanding and hereby stopping the enemy Satan of bringing confusion to the minds of his beloved little children. Gabriel, the vision I had of the seven trumpets being sounded all at the same time 
and also the seven thunders sounding showed the angels stepping forth at the same time and sounding them, the trumpets together. Yes, daughter of heaven, this is how it did so transpire in heaven's halls and court. There's a lot of things I can't share with people. This is also how the spirit of Baden was able to be released already to possess a man of sin. I understand. O oh, inhabitants of the earth and above in the heavens and beneath the crust, this is your official announcement from heaven's court that war shall proceed unhindered. The holy restrainer is being removed, allowing the man of sin to assume full power above the earth and not only beneath the ground, and that the seven seals and trumpets have been opened, which activated the seven thunders uttered in heaven by the risen Lamb. Woe, woes upon woes has come to your world, the earth. This is also your official notice that the timing of the risen Lamb, Jesus, the Son of God's return, is now. And the marriage supper, praise God, the great feast is now completely ready for those of his bride that are ready in the spotless white garments and are happily awaiting his return. I do so want to go. This official proclamation and heavenly notices are effective immediately upon your my announcing it in my official capacity of heavenly messenger to you, daughter of heaven, earth representative of heaven's court. With this being read out loud, I watch as Gabriel rolls the scroll tightly back up and then places it again back into his container where he refastens it to his belt, and then he turns his blue eyes upon my face. Now, beloved daughter of the risen Lamb, there was a message to me, and I cannot share that. Now, beloved daughter of the risen Lamb and Jehovah God, we must leave you now. Gabriel, am I to share your proclamation tonight or tomorrow? No, beloved daughter, not until all has fully transpired. Yes, I understand, and the things he was telling me. I said, thank you, Gabriel. Bye, Gabriel. And he said, bye, beloved daughter of heaven. And now they were gone with only the four remaining angels that have been in my constant companion for quite a while now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And the scriptures, when I prayed that that came forth, well, some of them he gave me immediately. You put these. But then he said, I, I have more. And he gave me parts of them. And I had to look some of them up this time. Amos 3, 7. Revelation 22, 6. Revelation 11, 3 through 14. Zechariah 4, 2 through 5 and 11 through 14. Daniel 9, 26 through 27. Daniel 7, 7 through 8, 15 through 28. Revelation 19, 7 through 9. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. 1 Thessalonians 5, 2, 4, 9 through 10, and 24. Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 8, 9, and 10. Revelation 11, 15 through 19. Daniel 9, 21. 2 Peter 3, 9 through 13. And then this is the ones he had me look up. 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 10, Matthew 24, 13, and Matthew 25, 10, Matthew 24, verse 21, and then 29 through 31. And that is the dream that I had. I mean, that is the, the word, not dream, I apologize, the visitation. And I'm asking that you would take this before the Lord. Don't take my word. My mom always said, you do not take my word. I'm faulty. I'm human. You, you take it to the Lord. Ask him to line it up with the word. Let him speak to your heart. You know, I, I get a, a hard rap because I say, don't ask me. But the Lord is putting it in my heart. I am to just deliver and then let the people seek him so that they can build that personal relationship with him. 
You have got to have a relationship with the Lord yourself. You cannot depend on me or anybody else. You have to have that relationship. I mean, you he is to be your everything. You are to forsake mother and father, brother, son, daughter, to follow him. And you know what I found out? When you do that, when you put him above everything else and turn your back if you have to, you have more love than for those, your family, your friends. Because your your first love is Jesus. Well, I come live. Well, the Lord told me to come live. This is the second time I've been live on YouTube. And like I said, the first time, I did not know how to save the comments. Still don't, but I'm going to look at it before I just save. Because I have, have um people sometimes that erase this thing. So sometimes I was just trying to save it to make sure it got up. All right, now I do want to address the matter if you don't know Jesus. You know, that's that's the main thing. And and when we lead people to Jesus, we're not just to abandon them. We are to check on them, pray for them, lead them in the ways, make disciples of them. That's all of us. Mark 16, the Great Commission, that's for all of us. Go ye out into all the world and preach to the nations. We are supposed to make disciples. That means, you know, just get somebody saved or, or lead them to Jesus and then never deal with them anymore that's throwing a lamb to the wolves so with that being said if you don't know jesus and you're seeing this video or if you're here or if you're backslidden now is the time now is the time we have no more time we're out of time what we're living on is just the last bit of remnants of grace that was given we need to reach the lost. So if you don't know Jesus, I beg you, please accept him into your heart today. He is a love like no other. He is a comfort. You can be in a raging hurricane. You can be attacked on all sides and have that peace of God in your heart and joy. Even in the times when I'm being onslaughted, I have the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. If you do not have joy, you need to pray Psalms 51, that prayer of um, David. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and, and renew our spirit within me. Cast me not away from your spirit. And I'm not quoting it exactly right. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation and new, renew a right spirit within me. If people don't see the joy of the Lord, they're not going to want what you got. You know? But again, if you don't know Jesus... It's simple. Romans 2, 9. I'm going to read it just to make sure <clears throat> I don't misquote it. It's a very important verse. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The simplicity of the gospel. The simplicity of the gospel. Praise God. So if you don't know Jesus, all you have to do is pray with me right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that you help me lead this, these people. Lord, I am a sinner, and I come to you, Jesus, and ask that you wash me clean. Forgive me of my sins. Make me new in you. I do believe that you are the Son of God, that you are born of a virgin, I believe you gave your life for me on Calvary, but I also believe that you rose on the third day victorious so that I could be redeemed. And it's all through your blood and your blood alone. So wash me in your blood. Wash me. Wash me clean. And I confess that you are my Lord and my Savior this day in Jesus' name. And it's that simple. And it's that simple. And he will change your life. He will change your life. He is good. And we have to remember first and foremost. God is love. He's love above everything else. Yes he's judgment. Yes he's just. Yes he's you know purity and righteousness. He is love. Like we cannot comprehend. So when things don't go like we think they need to. Or things are pushed back. Or things you know. We have to understand this they're more than likely, and if you ask the Lord, it's a love issue. It's a you know, ninety nine left in the fold and going after the one. And if you're that one, you're gonna be forever grateful. You're gonna be forever grateful. 
So with that being said, I ask that you take this to the Lord in prayer. If you did accept Jesus as your Savior and you need to talk to someone, you know, find you some. Pray about it. <laughs> Not all churches are good anymore. But see if you can find a good church. You can also contact our prayer email. Lord willing, I will have it listed under this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, once I get it loaded fully and re-edit to put everything in it. And we will pray with you and we will we will not we will not drop you. Find you some people that love Jesus as much as you. And don't let doctrine please do not let Father God in the name of Jesus I bind this unstable connection in the name of Jesus. And whoever's trying to connect into it, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Know your enemy, people. Ask the Lord to open your eyes to the truth of what's going on. But be sure you want to know. Okay? Because you can't go back. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. So the pulling down of strongholds. How many strongholds have you pulled down today? I pray over my life, Lord, if, you, if there's any satanic strongholds trying to be built, I pull them down in the name of Jesus against me, this ministry, against, you know, the ones I love. I love you all. And I want you to understand, I, I do, I pray for everybody. I, and anybody that, you know, sees a video, any, I do, I pray for the whole world, but anybody this ministry has touched, because it's Jesus, it's all Jesus. He is the foundation, He is everything. And I spend a good part of my prayer praying over everybody. Because the Bible says pray you one another. It says pray you one another, pray you one another that you might be healed. But we know we are to uplift our brothers and sisters in Christ. We are a body. A body. And it doesn't matter what part you are. Jesus is the head. And we work in unison. We're supposed to. So. That is my prayer. And I pray often Lord wake up the, bo the body of Christ. Because I'm seeing a distinct difference in the body of Christ. The, the, the church. And the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ is awake. And the bride of Christ is passionately waiting his return. The bride of Christ is seeking to do his will above all else. And doing everything they can through the word. And getting close to him. And keeping themselves spotless. Marina, I will pray for you. And Lord willing, I'm going to try to <clears throat> save the comments. and go back and pray over, pray over everything. And we are having on the sites, on Facebook, Telegram, and the jump, we're having a, a, a prayer video, a prayer Zoom meeting. We will be praying with the people. And that link is on those sites. So with that being said, you know, we, we're going to make sure we get prayer for the people. You know, it's, it, it goes both ways. You pray for me. We pray. We, we're supposed to pray for everybody. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. And the thing is, it don't matter. You, you may not even know who you're praying for when you're praying in the Holy Spirit. I'm going to give you one example. And then I'm going to get off here because I do have to get prepared for the the meeting more. My mother was praying one day and felt real heavy. And she was praying praying and telling she didn't know what it was and she just kept praying and praying and praying and praying well then the next day my uncle Denver her brother showed up on the motorcycle and we lived in the mountains and and it was normal well he just showed up periodically just unannounced but he showed up <clears throat> and mom got to talking to him and it was like two o'clock in the afternoon when she was praying and at that time and it's no disrespect to black people, okay? I love all people. But he had two black people approach him with a knife in an alley and tried to kill him. And he said, Mildred, I, my mom's name was Mildred. He said, I don't know how I got out of there. He said, but I was able to get to my motorcycle. And he said, I drove straight here. That's why we let the Holy Spirit lead us. That's why we let the Holy Spirit lead us. That could have been two white men, two Hispanic. It does not matter. There's two people trying to take his life. 
That's all that, you know, that's what I'm trying to point out. And um, if she had been disobedient and had not gone in and praying, he might have lost his life. Well, with that being said, everybody, I love you. I encourage you, get in the word. Stay in the word. But also pray and ask the Lord to give you a divine revelation. Excuse me. A divine revelation. As Open your eyes. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So stay in the word. Read your Bible. You know, stay in the Word, study. Worship. Fast. Fasting is very important. Fasting doesn't let you hear God better. Fasting allows the strongholds in your life and who you may be going to minister be tore down quicker. That's why you fast. That's part of why you fast. Sing. Sing to the Lord. Praises and singing. Worship. It doesn't matter. He says make a joyful noise. It doesn't matter if you think you got a good voice or not. He looks on the heart. All right. With that being said, I do have to get prepared for the the prayer Zoom at 3 p.m. Eastern time, my time. And it is now 1228 p.m. So I'm going to have to get off here. I'm very humbled. I'm very humbled to see so many people on here. I, I'm just um. I'm amazed at our Lord. He told me, you get on here and deliver, and I'll take care of the rest. And that's what I do. I, I don't, don't look at numbers. I don't look at I just do what the Lord says. Blessings from Brazil. Lord Jesus. You know, we've got to stick together. You can't let little things tear you apart. We cannot let these things tear the body apart. The bride, Jesus is coming. When he wakes up and he tells me, and I told this, I think, the other day. When I wake up to him saying, daughter, it's almost time. I'm standing on the threshold. I have my cloud ready. Yes, he said that. He said, daddy, you know, father says it's time. I get excited. I'm, I'm excited. But I'm also heavy hearted because I know so many's not ready. But I, I pray every day, even so come, Lord Jesus, even so come. Because he's re making me realize it's their choice whether they go or not. It is their choice whether they make it or not. So we, so I am praying in advance for those left behind also. Tearing down any strongholds in advance. Because they're going to face a world without the restrainer and where Satan Antichrist has power over them. And now God is still going to work the miracles and miraculous for his people. Do not think. They're about to show up full time. We're going to, I mean, if you're here, which is going to start, I think, even before. Red Sea parting moments. You're going to be common for his people. Because he, he is not less now than what he was then. Our God is awesome. He's amazing. All right. And I will, Lord willing, have my prayer ladies. Yes. Yes. Thank you Lord. Yes. So that it will be more than just me praying over these. Anybody can get in on the Zoom. It's just I don't have a way of getting the link to anybody else. Except through those sites. Unless you know somebody that's on one of our sites. That can give you the link. Anybody can join. It's not. You know. It's because it's prayer for the people. That's what it is. Prayer. And the Boo 200, praying for all my lost family members. You stand on, next, on, on Acts 16, 1631, I believe it is. I don't quote exactly right, but it says, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and that thou and thy fam household shall be saved. Got to find Acts. You stand, you get, a, and sometimes you can pull more. Scripture will always confirm, you know, you can pull it together. But sometimes if you can get hold of one scripture, 
And there's some people say, well, they have a choice. Well, you go back and once you start looking at all the promises to your seed and your seed seed just by you being saved, you can have your household. Is it your website? I have a Facebook website. It's called My Love of Jesus Ministry, um, Telegram, and The Jump. And we also have a website, this My Lovely Jesus Ministry. But we're having some issues getting into that. We're having some um, technical di difficulties, and we are, are contacting a lawyer. We've got a lawyer that we're, you know, because some things can be done illegally that need to be taken care of legally when somebody's doing it legally. <laughs> Does that make sense? I forgot what I was doing. I am so sorry. 16. 1631. And they said, Acts 1631, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And if you look in the, into Bible days, the house was just not your, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister. It's your whole household, your whole relatives. And I stand on that. And I'm seeing it happen. Because our God is faithful and his word cannot lie. His word cannot lie and his word will never fail. You know, even if they were to take and change every word in this Bible, it cannot lie because Jesus is the word. Jesus is the word forever settled in heaven. How do you think that Muslims are being saved by encounters with Jesus Christ when they don't know him and he's being visited by them? Our God is powerful. He's not limited. He, he, he's just, he's all knowing. He's just amazing. He's just amazing. All right, I do have to get off here. I love everybody. Stay under the blood. And somebody asked me, what does that mean? Okay, it means do not move out from under the Lord. Do not be disobedient and cause yourself to open up doors. You stay as close to the Lord. Stay under that blood covering, that blood covering. Stay under his blood. Stay as close to him as you can in Jesus' name. Yes, we are under judgment now. And anybody that can't see it, well, They've got their head stuck in the sand. And they don't want to see it. Thank you, everybody. You have a blessed Sunday. And those that are in Monday. And remember, most of all. Jesus is goddess. He is goddess. Don't let your faith be shaken. Get your roots down deep. Get your roots down deep. You want to build up your most holy faith? Do it through the word. Jesus is the word. Sometimes I'll just hug my Bible. I'm hugging you, Jesus. <laughs> I am getting off here. God bless the end of the blood. Until we meet again. Because we don't know what the Lord's got. Maybe it'd be in the air. Today. That would be awesome. God bless from Tennessee. See if I can find my little thing here. And Lord willing, I will try to keep the 